really long time. Half of your life, Sarah, that's a really long time for us. Um, the fact that I've known you for 14 years is kind of amazing considering not a lot of people our age can keep friends that long. Our group of friends is really specifically different because we're like a huge family. Um, we all went to high school together and we're all still around. And, and when I tell people that don't know our group of friends about it, they're like, that's really weird. That doesn't make any sense. How did you keep in touch with everyone? And I'm like, well, you know, MySpace and Facebook help, but. <laughs> really, it's because we care. We care enough about each other to know what's going on in each other's lives and we share the happiness and the joys and the sorrows um, in all of our lives. And this is one of the big joys. You guys getting here. I'm shaking right now because I'm so happy for you. Um, you're super in love. I think it's obvious. Uh, I hope that everyone can see it because it's obvious to me. Um, you don't see love like this every day. You guys are smitten, which is awesome. I like to use that word, so smitten, very smitten, and it's really great. So, because you guys are so smitten, I wrote you a poem, and I'd like to read it to you right now. Woo! You both hear the music, whether you listen to the melody or the lyrics. Some words for both of you. Stay in love as you are. Continue to enjoy each other's company. Talk to each other. And by that I mean communicate about everything. To my best friend, I am completely elated for you and this new chapter. Even though I cared about getting queasy, I would not wish happiness like this on anyone else. To the man she loves, she, do not change, you are great. She loves you so much, but I'm sure you know. Take care of her and yourself. I love you both very much.